<laughs> what? Greetings. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> we are here to do the Instructables oh, Jamaco Build Night unboxing. Woot, woot. We have this wonderful package of goodies from our friends at Instructables and Jameco. And we're going to see what's inside it. LEDs. More LEDs. Some fancy LEDs. Probably 555 timers, which looks like 10 of them. Yep, 555s. And some 9 volt adapters and some 9 volts. Whoa! They even give us batteries. Cool. Yeah. That's nice and some breadboards. Cute. Holy moly, we have a lot of resistors. A lot of resistors. And oh, this wow. pack looks kind of cool. This is major grab bag time. I see there are some caps in there and some PC memory, it looks like. What the heck? Isn't that PC memory? Yeah. Mmm, yeah. huh. parallel. You know how it's like uh, electronic gold mine? How they give those grab bags? Give? Well, Capacitor, for five bucks you get like an entire RCA box. jacks. Are these uh, crystals? Crystals, yeah, for timer. Yeah. That reminds me, I got a timer to give. Twenty twenty-four hertz. Back. This is a heat deflector, a plug-in acceptor. I will not rhyme anymore. This is <laughs> probably a piezo. Yeah, or a speaker, speaker. Or sort, yeah. Um, that's an LED, right? No, wait, no, it's like be. a cap. Wow, that's a big cap, right? Yep. No, um, what's this? Toroid coil. Cool. cool. Inductor. Heat. If you find a solenoid in there. Battery holder. Very nice. Hmm. Oh. Oh, a jack for a yeah, yeah. guitar. That's a hardcore. Yeah. That is like old school, man. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Is that a. That's a oscillator. crystal, too, probably oscillator of some sort. Some connectors. Another one of these guys. I need to find some capacitors in here. Ethernet or phone jack. Yeah, switches, toggle switches. Oh, yeah, switches. Um, a lot of random a lot stuff. Of headers. In here. That's why they call it grab bag. Oh, what is this? Oh, service service mount Speaking capacitors. Speaking of old school. What is that? It's a light bulb socket. Oh, lovely. Mm, socket. Oh, here's your switch you're talking about. Mm, mini jack. Yep. So we're gonna spend today looking oh, through all these things and see what we can build. See what we it. can build, and next week we're gonna end up building something cool. Maybe more than one something cool. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Here's another random LED. Another switch. Hmm. Is that a jack as well? Oh, you know what? I might need this. Oh yeah. All right. Looks like a stereo, um, three point five millimeter jack. And Sweet. Uh, a header. That I don't know. We get a lot of different kind of headers here. I could use some of those one day. Here's a capacitor. I gotta have some of those for that little project I'm working on. Uh, a relay switch. Relay or, switch. No, no, no. A reed switch, I think. Oh, right. Cool. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think that's better. what that is. Well, all right. We better get to it then. All right. Sounds great. Thank you. Thank you. A project here, but the idea was to make a vintage bike buzzer and a lot of people don't seem to remember bike buzzers but used to have this sort of art deco looking thing that could sit on a bike this is actually a flashlight but it kind of looks like that this is a buzzer it kind of fits exactly perfectly in here <laughs> so this is a button that kind of looks like the right kind of button and if things weren't falling apart here we would be able to play it we didn't solder <laughs> it because okay go ahead play it that will get like louder than louder. a car horn. That is going to get people out of my way on the bike trail. And you know what? Now that I think about it, maybe I should bring it on the canoe trip. <laughs> cool. Now, where'd you get the buzzer from? The buzzer was from um, 
Axeman sold 75 cents for a 12 volt buzzer, mm -hmm. but uh, Trust tried it on a variable thing yesterday and it works fine with 9 volts. So cool. uh, it worked okay with just 9 volts. And uh, you know, this was from a flea market that I was at and it was two bucks. And the button, well, the button I had originally cost me a buck and a half, but this one was 225. And look at that expense. 225? I think, yeah. Oh my gosh. And this one is... I sold it to him for <laughs> yeah, a discount. Yeah, it's Will's fault. And this is a, <clears throat> a bottle cap. Oh, okay. I couldn't go on the handlebar. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you, are you actually going to use it? I'm, I'm going to try it on my bike and see what other, <laughs> I, whether I can freak some people out on the bike trail. We'll see. All right. Cool. <laughs> you attach the handlebars. Yeah, maybe the, like that. Yeah. With the strap and Like through here. Cool. Probably a pipe. You should put a flashlight on it too. Uh, we were trying to figure out how we. You should find an old bike yeah. buzzer to turn into a flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Thank you.